Hey guys, Denise here. What's going on? Hope everybody is uh, hanging in there and getting things done, doing what you do. Um, today I wanted to kind of just be a little candid with you all, not sharing any information per se, but giving you um, a little bit of what I think I wanted to share with you, so many things that I think could be helpful for you based on my journey in the fitness industry or with fitness or well-being, health, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll leave the link to my uh, introduction video so you can understand where I came from in terms of how I ended up here doing these videos and um, talking to you about mobility and all those good stuff. Um, so I decided to give you the top three things that I would say would be top three things that I have learned in the last over the last ten years, where um, you know I've been really it's like a whirlwind of events taking place: getting injured, coming out the injury, getting certified, helping people, having life cycle three six zero. So um, yeah, I just want to give you the three things that I have learned that maybe can help you on your fitness journey or your health, physical, well-being journey, whatever it may be. All right. So without further ado, let's get down to number three. Let's go with number three. All right. So number three for me is going to be um, do not be a follower. And when I say that, um, I mean there's tons of information out there on the internet where a lot of people um, are doing all sorts of I would call entertainment on the IG especially oh my gosh it's like so much craziness out there but there's also good stuff there there's information that you can learn from and stuff and it takes a little bit of your um, effort to shift out and to test what it is you're seeing out there because um, for me I remember one of the things I wanted to do when I started um, really getting into my um, you know weightlifting and that whole journey of just getting all aesthetically wired up um, one of the things I would do is like everything with, with CrossFit I would um, just like how somebody looks and ended up following them now the problem with that is that uh, I never really did any uh, of my own research when it comes to CrossFit, when it comes to the types of training that is required, what it is all about. I just like looking at the CrossFit Games. I like looking at the women, they look so strong and that's how I wanted to be. Um, so I would always say number three for me is don't just follow what looks good get yourself educated on what it is you want to do first and then seek out look at if you're looking at social media or you're looking try to look at if these people what it is they're saying what is the um, what is the rationale that they're using based on um, what the, the content that they're putting out and so forth all right so that is important because you have a lot of people just following what looks good, following the entertainment that we see on social media and calling that fitness. And nobody's talking about their injuries, nobody's talking about you know how difficult it is and how depressing it can be when you're not you're doing all you're doing and you're not ending up like what you see. Alright, so let's go on to number two. Okay, so number two, I would say where nutrition is concerned I know I have always been very black and white it's either I am very clean eating or I don't eat at all and um, I've realized that that type of um, understanding of nutrition is what I've read in those fitness books you know um, it's not sustainable because I'm not a professional athlete. I am not a um, professional bodybuilder who is being paid for, you know, um, 
making sure that your body fat goes down to X or Y and, and it's just where you know it's, I think I've, I was really rigid and um, I've learned how to you know being exposed to different people I've learned how to take that rigidity and educate myself and um, understand that nutrition shouldn't be that like you shouldn't be on a diet you should be living and eating as a lifestyle so I actually enjoy food now and um, I enjoy um, being able not to think about it as to what I what well oh my gosh I ate this today oh I'm not supposed to eat that, 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 that. You, you yourself get into a rhythm and you you actually you know don't want it like I have coffee in the morning I don't have any sugar I don't have any milk and actually I don't have any milk at all and it doesn't even bother me now it's just part of my lifestyle so that's number two all right so number okay, one okay drum roll please number one so if you guessed it was anything to do with movement and mobility you are guessing it. number one yes that's number one for me okay um i think the biggest thing i've learned is in trinidad we do fitness one way which is always in a group we always um we like to have what we call boot camps and stuff and um that is so culturally accepted that anything beside that i think crossfit has made its way into trinidad and that is good people uh you know have accepted it and stuff but i don't think um people take into consideration um their movements how their body uh functions um their imbalances and all of that without taking the or, or don't have any understanding of that it just takes you down a road of uh, subtly down into injury and um, going to the doctor wearing bands on your knee and your your ankle wearing el you know around your elbows and um, it's pretty much just we've accepted that as our um, way of life like okay i'm in pain yeah my ankle is giving me trouble no big thing you know um but we don't we we, we smash ourselves with heavy weight or we kill ourselves with super cardio high intensity workouts but recovery means doing um daily maintenance on your body making sure that your body does not adapt to certain positions like sitting um you'll be doing more than ever now we don't really pay attention to that and because of that um our body tends to adapt and change and when that happens your movement is obviously going to be changed as well and uh, it doesn't change really better so those you know that's probably what i would say is my biggest um would say my biggest or my top three things that i um all four of what i've learned where my journey of fitness has uh, had me today that's why i do what i do now because i see so much necessity and value in helping you all understand how we can move better and move often and not succumb to these uh musculoskeletal injuries and things that we just want to accept all right so that's my top three and I um, I just happy to share this with you and I hope this can help you and don't forget for persons who is now joining me on this channel I'm posting every Friday and every Tuesday so take care guys have a great weekend bye bye